um, well, when we first got to like the Israeli-Palestinian border, we had to stop at a checkpoint and they had to check everyone's passports. Um, and a guy with a rifle came on the bus. Um, so that's you know kind of intense. And then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of your first image upon entering Palestine is just a huge wall mm -hmm. surrounding the whole the whole place. So that's you know that's kind of the image that I was first that was first impressed upon me. Um, we got to hear a lot from, we got to hear a lot from the Palestinians and largely what they had to say was uh, the wall was kind of being constructed and there was kind of a very strict policy in letting people cross borders, you know, smart people, doctors, lawyers, you know, people who would cross board the border to go to their job were having trouble getting through um, because they were being accused of you know, potentially being threats to Israel or the Israeli nation. Mm -hmm. um, so largely their their vantage point was that's you know pretty pretty unfair against them and obviously it is because they can't get to their job and oh. they pose no threat. Well, I mean, the main issue is it's a conflict over whose land it is, and it's the argument of God gave us this land versus this is the land that was passed down in my family. Um, so both of those are very strong personal arguments. Um, so I think with that in mind, it's really kind of up in the air where it's going to go. Because um, like I said, it's very, very personal. People feel very strongly about, you know, whether it's God that gave them land, or it's land that's been passed down through generations and generations. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a very difficult situation to address because you really have to say, well, you were right because you know your religious motives are right, or you have to say you're right because you were passed down, your land was passed down from your family.